Hi guys, thanks so much for tuning in to Sean Watson Davis TV. Today's episode is all about peppers. I love peppers. Take a look at these beautiful colors, the red and the green. Tell me, which color do you think is highest in vitamin C content? The red or the green? If you chose the red, you are absolutely correct. It is indeed the red. All peppers are high in vitamin C, but the red is the highest. I love to purchase peppers, cut them up, put a portion in the fridge and another portion in the freezer. I like to use the refrigerated portion in my daily salad consumption. A daily salad is very important, you guys, because the body does very well to receive raw content every day. Raw is fabulous for the body because it gets all of the vitamins and minerals that way. Cooking does diminish nutrient values. So when you eat a daily salad, you're making certain to every day take in some raw content. That way you're getting all of the vitamins, all of the minerals, all of the digestive enzymes, all of the antioxidants, all of the polyphenols. Look at these beautiful colors. And when the food is cooked, what happens to the color? It starts to diminish, right? Especially when foods are overcooked. The longer that they're cooked, the less color you will see in the foods. That's because the polyphenols are being damaged. So daily consume a nice colorful salad. And when you are doing your meal planning, consider colors. When you're at a buffet or a restaurant, choose the richly pigmented foods to create a beautiful plate and a plate that has higher nutrient value. The next thing I wanna point out about peppers is that hot peppers bring in another important content, and that is something called thermogenesis. So you know when we eat, we want to feel good and energized after we eat. And when we consume hot peppers, such as cayenne, hibernero, jalapeno, we're more likely to feel energized because the heat that is introduced by the hot peppers creates thermogenesis in our bodies, creating greater vitality, greater energy, greater, more robust metabolism. So that's another beautiful thing to remember about peppers, the vitamin C content and the thermogenic value when the hot peppers are utilized. When we eat, guys, again, we want to feel happy, energized, not sleepy and sad. Watery vegetables such as peppers, will provide the fiber, the hydration, all of that rich content that I already mentioned, plus they won't make you drowsy. Whenever we have a drowsy effect from eating, red flag, we have eaten the wrong food. We've eaten food that is not compatible to our bodies, to what we're trying to accomplish, which is that vitality. So very important to note in the daily salad that we take in, we want to pay attention to salad dressings because when you eat a salad, 
if the salad makes you sleepy, then you want to take a look at the salad dressing because many of the salad dressings in grocery stores will include starch content, thickeners, gums, and those can also raise blood sugar and thereby cause us to become sleepy after we eat the salad, but it's not the salad, it's the content of the dressing. So it is best to pay attention to composing your plate of watery vegetables, legumes, proteins, stay away from the gravies and the pasta, the rice, the bread, if you are one that becomes sleepy after eating, it will be those foods to look at eliminating first so that you can get down to the basis of what foods cause you to be sleepy, which foods cause you to be happy and energized. Any food that robs you of your vitality Consider it to be poisonous for you. It is not body compatible for you. And so I want you to love foods that love you back. And any food that mistreats you, that robs you of your energy and your vitality, break up with it. This is also in keeping with blood sugar, the knowledge of blood sugar. When we consume foods that make us tired, more than likely it has caused our blood sugar to rise too high and thereby the manifestation of that is sleepiness. That's what we experience on the outside, but on the inside damage is occurring that we're not able to look at. So that would be another point as to why monitoring blood sugar levels would be a very beneficial thing to do so that not only are you linking the symptoms in terms of how you feel, but you also have the working knowledge of the exact number uh, that your, your blood sugar is at and thereby oftentimes seeing is believing. And sometimes when we see a number that is high and we know, oh my God, I just got done eating this plate and now my blood sugars are up into the stratosphere. Uh, ideally for optimal health, your blood sugar target should be between 70 and 85. Uh, and again, just having the knowledge of what the target is and the knowledge of what your blood sugar numbers are on a daily basis, you know, you could check it once a day at the same time every day so that you're comparing apples to apples. Uh, but understanding that blood sugar levels are very important to your health and that high blood sugar levels do a lot of dirty damage to the internal workings of our vessels. And so peppers are a friendly vegetable in that they are watery and they will produce energy in the body absent uh, culprits being on your plate, such as the breads, the pastas, the rice, um, sometimes corn for people, sometimes potatoes for people. Uh, so again, peppers are excellent. They're beautiful in color. They are crunchy and they are high in vitamin C and they are body friendly. So thanks so much for tuning in. I want to encourage you to be in good relationship with your body. 
here at Sean Watson Davis TV. It's all about relationship positivity. And the first relationship that you want to be in positive uh, relationship with is your body. So again, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to order your books, 101 Conversational Questions by Sean Watson Davis, sold on Amazon.com. Again, that's 101 Conversational Questions by Sean Watson Davis, sold on Amazon.com. And if you are not an Amazon customer, try your local bookstore. Oftentimes, if they don't have the books, they will order them for you and you can put, pick them up at your local bookstore. So again, good luck applying what you've learned today and thanks for tuning in and thanks so much for your support. Have a great day. Bye.